So I would like to point out that John D. Rockefeller was a eugenicist, as you should see right now, um, with the picture on the screen. His son David Rockefeller has also been known to speak of population control. We see the same thing with Bill Gates and his father. His father was, I believe, the president of Planned Parenthood. And like father, like son, we see the same with a lot of these elitist people. They are cheaters. They are hypocrites. They are inferior. And because they're in a position of privilege, when they had everything handed to them, they believe that they're superior and that everyone else is inferior. And they have a bunch of unscrupulous, educated people from Ivy League schools helping them out. If you look at the pictures I'm showing on the screen, one after another proves my point about eugenics. Unfortunately, most of you who see this video will already see things the same way as I do. It is the, of the utmost importance for you to get the message out. You need to get the message out and you need to inspire your fellow man to man up instead of sell out. A lot of people will see these things and they will be afraid and they will sell out their fellow man in order to reduce the hardship you know, in their own lives. We must stand together, we must find the warrior within, and we must fight back. These people will stop at nothing. Um, they have sterilized over 65,000 people on record and probably more than that. When you see the RT, 500,000 people annually um, are killed with psychiatric medications. The proof is in the pudding. Psychiatry is a tool of control and applied eugenics. And I want, I'm on vacation, so I'm going to end it there. And I think it's very sad that people don't see it. Mother. Thank you. Oh, I don't think I need to explain why there are still a bunch of people such as Martin Hardy who believe in eugenics and believe in the principles and the covert removal of these people and how there is a plan to separate the intelligent minorities from the rest of them or those who are perceived to be intelligent and to alienate them and to get them on the side of the eugenicists in return for celebrity status, in some cases money, respect, women, um, and an increased standard of living for these sellouts and how they have weak excuses for doing so. Last but not least, the people in charge are hypocrites who suffer from white denial, whether they're Jewish, atheist, or white people, or whitewashed people of whatever race. Um, they're cheaters, they're hypocrites. A lot of these people cheated in school, and they were given extra breaks and cut extra slack in order to make it. Um, whenever they do something wrong, they get a slap on the hands. So they're not truly called criminals. They rape women in fraternities and in secret societies. Eugenics is about lies. It is about justifying the murder of a bunch of people who haven't accepted doctrines of Satanism, including murdering innocent people, hating God's creation, coming up with any reason to hate someone, race, um, you know, economic status, social status, you know, any reason they can come up with to hate someone and to justify killing them. And you know the, the philosophies that support eugenics. Homosexuality, obviously, reduces population. Um, feminism aborts more babies. And racism and atheism, you know, fighting against moral morals and moral codes, which come from religion. Um, and then there's a lot of phony things that throw you off or throw ignorant people off, such as uh, secular uh, humanism which is really uh, Luciferianism cloaked in liberal nonsense. Um, there's, you know, I talk about all the things time and time again. Uh, so yes, these people are inferior. And when you look at it, you know, imagine being smarter than these people, more insightful than these people, more athletically gifted, and you basically have somebody who's inferior to you, who has white privilege and rich privilege and old money privilege and so on, saying that they're superior and that you're inferior. Somebody who I could easily kill in the blink of an eye. Somebody who I could beat in any debate on any topic. Um, just, you know, it's, it's rather disturbing. This can't even wait. I'm on vacation. I'm not even supposed to make any videos, so I'm going to make this quick.
I'm in the middle of working out, you know, playing Tupac. And when you play Tupac, it's very obvious because COINTELPRO, MK Ultra, and gang stalking or government harassment, stalking, experimentation goes hand in hand. Within the first minute of Tupac's song, Fuck the World, you know, he says, I'm being stalked by these crooked cops again. Now, I want all you people to think very fucking carefully and ask yourselves, should you be surprised when the people who do what they do, do what they do, and Oakland is 45 fucking minutes away from San Jose? Yeah, Alameda County, bunch of pigs over there. The other day in the news, beat some fucking guy up, you know? Yeah, Rodney King type incident. High speed chase and all. Yeah, except for he wasn't black, but yeah. You know, you get the point. The point is I'm being stalked by these crooked cops again, and I don't want to act, I, I don't want to see any of you bitches say otherwise. The only people who should be denying it are a bunch of satanic fucking scum. Everyone else should be ready to kill those motherfuckers. I'm on fucking vacation, my nigga. You understand? I'm on vacation. Leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm 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 playing the Hot Boys. You know, I just played Pac earlier. I didn't I didn't play these songs for these parts, but you know, I'm trying not to play any clips from any songs, um, because then they can ad put advertisement on my shit, and I don't want them to do that. You bitch ass, motherfucking YouTube motherfuckers. Uh, so you know, they said basically two of the hottest days of the week. They harassing and jacking niggas in the UPT or something like that, right? But basically they say they harass them. So Tupac said, you know, I'm being stalked by these crooked cops again. And then the hot boy said they harassing and blah, blah, blah. You know, and I'm, I've been trying to tell people, you know, don't be surprised when the people who do what they do, do what they do. And it's very interesting that I think that a lot of gangsters and street motherfuckers know that the government is harassing. You know, the people who I see are the most open to this idea, the most informed, you know, There'll be gangsters and street motherfuckers, you know, there'll be uh, uh, Christians and Muslims, and then sometimes people in the military, you know, because they know that they're control freaks. They know this, a lot of times they know about psychological warfare, and they know how the government, you know, and some of them have been involved in secret operations and so on and so forth. So these tend to be the people who know this the most and who are, you know, who understand you feel me? And of course, conspiracy theorists. So when you say, well, the government is using technology or they're gang stalking me or they're harassing me, you know, that's what it is. And for me, it's like all you people who listen to hip hop, you really have no excuse. You know, this is all up in the most, some of the most famous rap artists or hip hop artists or rap artists basically ever, mainstream rap, most famous ever, Tupac Shakur, probably the most famous rap star ever, you know, and then, um, I know you, you, you old school motherfuckers probably say it's like Melly Mel or something. I don't, I don't know. Rock Kim or something. I don't know. But, you know, reasonably, you know, Tupac Shakur, right? And so, and then there's the Lil Wayne and the Hot Boys, right? I mean, come on. Come on. They're like these. I mean, we all know about police harassment. We know that. You know, but when Tupac said stalking, that was priceless. I'll make this short, you feel me? I'm on vacation. But that was fucking priceless. He said, I'm being stalked by I'm being stalked by these crooked cops again. So this is, you know, it's a cycle. It's never ending, you know? Don't be surprised. You do you think they haven't done it before? Come on, come on.